With the clean-up operation after a third night of violence in a row in East Belfast has been taking place today as community, political and religious leaders met this afternoon to try to find a way forward. Peter Cardwell's report contains flashing images. The fallout of another night of violence in East Belfast is clear to see today as crowds dispersed after another protest over the flag being removed from Belfast City Hall. Rioting ensued for a third consecutive night last night. About a hundred loyalists threw petrol bombs, fireworks, smoke canisters, bricks and other masonry police say. Laser pens were also shone on officers' faces. And after at least two shots were fired last night, there are worries for the lives of police officers. 52 have been injured so far, including one last night. I think this is a very, very difficult time uh, for the police service of Northern Ireland. Indeed, it's a very challenging time, uh, I think, since the inception of the PSNI. And indeed, I would also suggest for our politicians since the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, we really do need to get a grapple of what is a very volatile problem. At the interface with the short strand last night, there was trouble too. Do you accept there was violence on both sides last night? Yeah, no, there's no doubt about that. Yesterday afternoon uh, there was uh, skirmishes as the period, uh, or protests, sorry, uh, past the short strand here. I think it took uh, a step up uh, as the day progressed with shots being fired uh, by seemingly uh, elements within Loyalist paramilitaries uh, towards the PSNI. So that's worrying people, that has people frightened, uh, that has people uh, on edge, and that leaves us with a very, very serious uh, job of work to do to reassure people and make sure that there is political uh, leadership on a political path, uh, path carved through this. Today, searches were going on at St Patrick's Walk in East Belfast. A 38-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. The protests about the removal of the flag from Belfast City Hall have been going on almost continuously since the decision was made on the 3rd of December. But the vast majority of the protests have been peaceful. The kind of violence we've seen over the past three nights is certainly an escalation. And that's got politicians, community leaders and church leaders worried. So much so that they met this afternoon at a church in East Belfast to try to find a way forward. But two of the participants say they're not sure what that way forward is. Those in positions of authority honestly need to try and understand what is creating the circumstances that allows riots to happen. And what should they do about it? In my it? view, they should take on those issues that can be actually addressed and give people confidence that they're not being ignored and that uh, their concerns are understood, if not agreed with. I've seen things in the last uh, two or three days and nights that have really, really dismayed me because I've been working on interfaces now for 30 years. I've been working across community, I've worked with the police. I've been involved in loyalism for 45 years. And I have to say, some of the scenes that I've seen on Friday night uh, in Tappanmer Avenue was uh, at the lowest that I've ever seen relationships between our people and the PSNI. 70 arrests have been made so far, and the court sat yesterday and today in an extraordinary move. The hope is that at the very least tonight we'll not see a fourth night of violence. But buses going to East Belfast are already being diverted, Translink says, in case this happens. Peter Cardwell, UTV Live, East Belfast.